All I can say about her right now is rather asking her a question. What is wrong inside your head? But before I begin to talk about her, again, let me give you a quick disclaimer because this video will include a lot of toxic words, 18 plus stuff and NSFW, so please viewer discretion is advised. When I say that I believe that the drama would be over, I couldn't have been more wrong in my entire life. Again. But first, let me talk about her community tab and her overlord toxic responses she left for us to read. So let's begin. She starts off by saying the F word and that it's apparently getting out of hand and also accusing me of being a liar and then somehow me making the non-aggression pact aggressive for her somehow. So my response to her community tab is really simple. You definitely have anger issues and are pretending to be tough from the outside when you are weak from the inside. I made that non-aggression pact so that there wouldn't be a fight between the two sides again. Uh, this mainly included your and my demands which were basically the same. Your demands were for me to not interact with you or anus and to delete all of the uh, allegations I've put against you and that you won't bother me again. The exact timestamp is 201, which lists your demands by the way, and on the timestamp of 219, I wrote that I'll do all of those except for the last two. Uh, so it's basically on the timestamp of 239. I said my demands and I still stand by those demands. Do not mention or talk about Brayden Locks, his followers and me. And then I said on timestamp 246 that the conflict will begin again if you'll talk about Brayden Locks or me. And, and the same counted for me as well. If I were to talk about you first, then that would mean I broke the non-aggression pact, but in fact you began to talk about me first aggressively, therefore you broke it first, and it shows you are the aggressor and not the victim. I did then said on timestamp of 3.11 that I allow you to make a video or a community tab where you say that the drama is over but it seems like you declined that request and began to go on the offensive again for no reason at all. So now let's go to the comments. There's surprisingly a lot of toxicity in there. In fact I don't even know if I should read the comments from her because I would describe her answers as having a mental breakdown after another mental breakdown. It's literally insane. And just in case she would delete my comment, I took screenshots of every comment she left there. So I will leave a few of them and respond to the rest of them. First off, when she said that it's not over, then it makes my theory come true. If you are wondering about what theory I made, well, it's uh, really simple. She won't stop until me, Brayden logs and the rest of his followers are deep left formed from YouTube. That's it. And it's quite sad she can't just accept the fact that I'll be here and continue doing videos. Same goes for Brayden Locks, by the way. She then messaged me on Discord to change her demands, but keep in mind, demands cannot be changed after it is agreed to them. More on that later. She then said that she will do a rant about me, which all I will say good luck because it will just prove just how weak you are by weaponizing your audience and showing that you don't care if you weaponize them or not you count them as numbers and that's it also i am still waiting for our voice call so i can interview you properly to get your side of the story as well as actual emotions she then uh I guess talked to herself by saying she will make me regret talking about her and then she said she can't accept that loss. My question is, what loss? You didn't lose anything except to you for your own sanity, but overall I didn't demand any of your videos to be deleted or privated. You did that by yourself, by your own choice. She then said that I apparently used her boyfriend to sign the treaty, which is not true. Your boyfriend came to my DMs to sign his own signature, somehow, and then I signed it by giving him my word due to, his, due to my beliefs in Christianity. 
Uh, that's why I signed it and eventually wanted to move on, but let's get back to Crimson Eda's awful comments. She then said that I apparently made a death threat on whiteboard. Now I know what she's referencing to here, it's about Mr. Shrip, who I've talked about before and exposed him as a predator. As far as I know, when you click on a whiteboard link, it doesn't show your name and not even your email address. Therefore Mr. Shrip couldn't have simply known that it was a Apparently me. And even if it was me, keep in mind uh, I have him blocked on Instagram the whole time and I never made any death threat. Mainly because of, in the Bible, Romans 12 19, it is said for Christians like me to never avenge ourselves but leave it to God's judgment. And my question rather is since it is like a day after I uploaded that video about Mr. Ship, then why is the text blue but then the text uh, next to it is in large and made in completely different uh, handwriting. Obviously it's staged and it's a pathetic attempt to get me cancelled since you got no proof of me ever clicking that link whatsoever but I did got provided a screenshot by one of my followers. Let's get back to Crimsonada's comments. I asked her if she's high but she went crazy again, so instead I told her that she is making me being the victim because she's aggressive. But she again accused me of being a liar and that I used her boyfriend. Keep in mind, her boyfriend messaged me first about the agreement of the non-aggression pact and no, I did not use your boyfriend as some sort of plans, whatever she's saying. She then admitted to being aggressive while using caps lock, which is great I guess and then accused me of being manipulative. Which I don't even know how am I even manipulating people to be honest, because personally I am not the one manipulating anyone. The only thing I'm doing is my content which is now delayed because of your actions you can't take responsibilities of. Also I love the irony when she accuses me of being a psychopathic asshole when she herself uh, makes gore animations and looking like a psychopath herself. Which is funny. So good job hypocrite. She then said that I have the victim mentality, which again is not true. You have the victim mentality when you pretend to be the victim in this drama, even though you began to talk about Brayden Locks first. Which is funny, because she privated that video when she began to face backlash. I then denied her request for her to delete my video and for me this looks like like she thinks that she's a Disney princess or something like that and probably even thinks that the world revolves around her. But in reality the world doesn't revolve around her, neither about me or anyone else. I then laughed at her uh, toxic behavior because I find it funny how she's a 20 years old woman and she cannot handle internet drama. It's hilarious but anyways. She then said she's gonna leak apparently my death thread or something, which I responded to her that I can't wait for to leak the rest of her NSFWs. And she then said that I am apparently good at blackmailing, so let me teach you again on what the word blackmail means that it's an action threatened as a criminal offense of demanding payment or another benefit from someone in return for not revealing, compromising or damaging information about them. Keep in mind that I am not blackmailing you, but you, on the other hand, have leaked Braden Locks's house address and you want him to be killed in a SWAT raid, but let's continue. She then said that I am defending whatever word that means and a PDF file. Again, I never said that I am defending Braden Locks but only believing he can change. In my eyes he changed a lot and is completely a different man, as I said many times before. She then called me a mentally defected maniac, which is ironic since she makes animations of uh, making herself like a psychopath. It's funny seeing her irony and therefore it makes it impossible to even take her seriously. 
She then accused me of liking CP, which I don't like at all, it is messed up beyond many levels and then I left my roast comment for her, which was A great adult stock male body part like you do. Obviously referencing to this drawing. I wonder why she even dates a 18 year old when she's 20 years old. And also the fact that you drew your character in a Vietnam war without clothes makes no sense. Cause uh, you would be shot and killed already. Or probably even worse. Respectively saying, do you really think men are so tempted over NSFW? I think you do. As for the conclusion of this video about Crimson Ada, I personally uh, recommend to not to watch any more of her videos or even following her on any platforms, mainly due to the fact that even though most of her audience are kids, she still uses them as a weapon and she doesn't care about you, so you can perhaps stop caring about her in return. Thank you for watching this video. If you'd like to, uh, you can join my Discord server in the description below. And if Crimson Ada will see this, which I know she will, simply stop talking about me, Brayden Locks, and his followers, and I'll leave you and your friends be. As always, thank you for watching, and don't forget to eat some parsley. Have a good day, and uh, goodbye.